Okay, guys, back on episode three, three of me playing East Eight, like your most of Dana. Um, don't judge my King of Fighters thirteen um, background on my PS3 or any of my titles right there, or the fact that apparently I have Mighty Number no. Nine as the game I play. But I just finished recording up until the end of the first chapter, and my lovely brand new El Elgato game capture device decided to crap out and crash and not record that um so yeah we lost all that so moving on all you missed all, well to be honest all you really missed was me getting back to the to the damn camp because i forgot that that was the quest of uh, the quest progression and i talked a lot of nonsense that i'll probably repeat because i repeat myself a lot and uh once we got back there Dogi was there and i still swear to god that Dogi looked nothing like Dogi, and i swear to god that jack i mean um the uh, sahad Sounds just like Jack. See, that, that wasn't intentional. I really called him Jack there. Um, for Final Fantasy X, by the way. Um, yeah, so I'm going to jump back into the game. Oh, yeah, so basically, Dogi is there. They built the Castaway Village in that, you know, calm area. And they're going to go search for footprints that might or may not belong to a girl or a woman. I mean, a girl or a woman. <laughs> a girl a child or a woman using their words um so yeah we're gonna do that i'll jump back into the game um what an odd first chapter because not a whole lot's happening uh it reminds it, it feels like it's taking a lot of elements from other games so yeah let's just jump into this hopefully it starts everyone come to the farm quick Where did these graphics come from? Oh, the infamous Dina. I really have nothing to say to this. Something's really interesting is happening, so just bear with my silence as well. Great tree, temple, like, like, I, see, um, I believe a couple episodes ago I was talking about that great tree, that why is nobody commenting on the tree growing in the middle of nowhere? I wonder if that's this is the tree I'm talking about. You know, I was kind of praising the art style earlier, but that was a very boring scene, in my opinion, because nothing was really moving. Like, I don't know. The Castaway Banquet, Chapter 2. By the way, um, I cut off the part where I, I saw what Chapter 1 was called, and obviously we lost the part where we saw the end of Chapter 1, so the Chapter 1 was called The Isle of Siren. Misspelled. Oh yeah, speaking of misspelled, 
Um, there was a funny bit that you would have missed. Um, all the funny spellings of Rom, Afroka, Siren, all that stuff. Uh, Mongo with the extra H's and everything. There is apparently the creature that attacked the ship, the tentacles, the giant squid, whatnot. It's known as the Kraken. Straight up, just the Kraken. Uh, I guess somebody fell asleep when it came time to name that one. Where did we get the hammocks? Like, okay, I understand that building the shelter out of wood that they're finding somewhere, but the hammock requires weaving. That makes no sense. Like I said, the, the whole goal is we're looking for other castaways. Um, Dogi claimed he saw those footprints earlier, but they were small, either a child or a woman's. And um, we're apparently seeing anime trope number seven. I found some clothes that might fit you nicely. This isn't weird at all. Oh, is the, are we gonna like dress him in like a traditional, um, ad, yep, 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 we are. That's the adult we know and love. That's exactly his outfit from the other games too. I love how his outfit washed ashore. So yeah, no longer is he wearing the really weird sailor uniform. They're whatever. They're whatever. Dude, you, oh, I think those... Are the clothes he's wearing in E7? Let me, let, let me, can, ah, I don't know if I should open this on my computer, but I'm going to anyway. I need to confirm this. I need to confirm this, if those are the same clothes he's wearing in E7. Oh, God, why do I do this? Oh, that's E8. That's E8, that doesn't help me at all. No, they're not the clothes he's wearing in E7. He's 70, he has actual armor. But they are the clothes he's wearing in, um, in Memories of Salsetta, so maybe he's wearing, I don't know, maybe he's taking it for that. I'll say there, whatever, because I'm a jerk. I feel like a jerk today because the Elgato pissed me off. Oh, wait, did it crash again? No, it didn't crash again. Good. It would have served me right, though, because I decided to look at the, the freaking pictures of, of like, E7 Adol. Oh my god! Like, can, can this be any more the love interest? The way she's like, arms crossed, staring away. I, I'm glad you like them. Like, I don't even know. What's that word called? The anime trope where, like, the girl's, like, really angry and then, like, comes around here and there. Yeah, that's her. The Laxia effect. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up now. It is a thing. I just don't know what the word is. I'm, I'm not a big anime person. Oh, I could change the costumes. I bet you this is where that DLC, DLC stuff comes in. I bet you I could buy, you know, E7 outfit. Oh, I got a trophy. See, the Isle of Sirens. Oh, dude, dude, this chest. It's as big as him. Like, why sleep in that hammock? I, I could just sleep in this. Wait, is this the cave that I killed the... Oh, oops. Is this the- yeah, it is. This is the cave I killed the giant bat in, I believe. Okay, okay. Check this out. Check this out. This cave leads to the dwellings beyond. You sense the presence of beasts in here. Let's not go in right now. And you see those, like, the presence of beasts. Look where his bed is. If I sense the presence of beasts, beasts, like, a couple feet from my bed, I think my first thought would be, hey, let's kill the beasts that are 10 feet away from my bed. Not like, hey, let's check this out later, when the game tells us it's cool. Okay, girl. 
Now, remember a second ago where she just said, like, I haven't seen Sahad around. Clearly you didn't look. But yeah, that's not Doki. Is he wearing jeans? Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. He's wearing bell-bottom jeans. Those are jeans. They are purple bell-bottom jeans. If they're not purple, excuse me, my, I'm weird with colors, but I believe they are purple. I look good, huh? Oh, a gift from someone, from a special someone. Okay, if I click this, will I get more anime tropes? Let's see. Oh, that was slightly disappointing. Please don't make it sound weird. I guess I kind of is an anime trope in of itself. Whoa, I can't keep calm if I don't eat a nutritious breakfast and take a satisfying dump. Truly, this is a man of culture. Oh, rumbling tummy and blush. Anime trope number eight. <laughs> It's a sign that you're a growing girl. <laughs> I'll be more careful. <laughs> the fuck? These dialogue choices. Okay, now. Oh, we get, oh, we're gonna fish! That's what all this was leading up to. I was about to say, like, is this going anywhere? Because you've been talking about food for a long time. Can these fish help us not die? Because I still haven't big, really, truly solved my healing problem. Did he build an outhouse? Is that a bar? I'm actually really confused what he's talking about. really not going to be in a town or any traditional RPG tropes in this game because um, presumably this is how we're going to make oh can I have the empty bottle I drink that potion from at the very beginning is this a Zelda game now we have to take care of our precious bottles now have two more deadly potions and I also am going the wrong way so let me back up I was really fishing I forgot what I was doing oh. I don't like fish it's one of these oh, oops, not that button not that button either Oh! Did we get the fish? Let's catch all the fish! Oh, 
I like how, I don't know if you saw before that cutscene began, but isn't it difficult to find the fish? Says the girl as there are clearly shadows of fish swimming right in that spot. Times ten was obtained. Oh, oh, is she scared of insects? I could just not be an anime trope, but it still kind of feels like one. Fish, wherever there is water. So, yeah, up on the D pad, X, 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 and then the owl stick. Shadows of fish, 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 and shadows. Interesting. Here we go. There. I got one. Oh, math. Uh, I can't read. This is splendid. I just realized I was talking. He just said, this is splendid. Apparently he can speak when there are fish involved, but he can't introduce himself by saying his name. I love how we didn't just find the fish, we got the sturdy bone and the other stuff. So presumably we find them and just cut them into pieces and take the usable parts. Like, immediately. And, correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like those rods are made out of bamboo. Or sugarcane or some similar actually yeah, this is more like a sugarcane type substance. Never mind. That makes more sense, but they have the kind of like the weird expandy joints. It turns like Monster Hunter where we call oh, what the hell? The fish encyclopedia. Because this is exactly what this game needed. Oh, but that was a scroll? Oops, whatever. Are there no more fish? They're not fish anymore. I just had fun doing that. Let me like kill these little bastards. Hold on. Wonder what I caught. More fishies. Here. This is splendid. This is splendid. Oh, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't even notice this. I didn't catch a sardine. Or maybe that is a fish. I don't know my fish. So maybe I'll stop that joke right there because someone's gonna jump in the comments like you know that that is a real fish you know so but yeah i'll just shut up but just in case i'm gonna look that up as soon as this is done and if that is not a real fish i'm gonna finish my sardine joke in peace I got one. hey i caught one hey i caught one he says other things too why did they keep buying bait It's a bulletin board. Dogi and the others must have set it up. Am I supposed to catch more fish? Oh, the potion hits a per kills a percentage of HP, as opposed to just a number. Oh. Here we go. 
go. I wonder what I caught. I got one! This is splendid! Ooh, that, I caught a, a bolo? A bolo? Once again, I don't know if these are real fish names or not. Yeah, but I can't catch more of these fish. Can't we just eat the bolo? Because I'd rather just eat the bolo. Yeah, I know there's a few. Oh, what the heck? Well, better than nothing. What is that? Oh. So yeah, let me see. Am I missing something? Yes. Let's check the village and go fishing. Yeah, I guess this is the thing. Can I fish somewhere else? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I do have to catch more fish. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so done with fish. Yeah. 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 Like, I feel like I missed a, a dialogue point where it told me how many I had to catch. You know, I think there's more water on the side. I'm bored of fishing with the Inlet thing. Yeah, there was more water. All right. There. Oh my god. This is this is one of those episodes, people. Um. Now, I guess I'll entertain you with. Oh, what the hell did I find? I found a glowy thing. I caught a hard blossom. Anyway, um, earlier I was talking about. I mean, maybe that was in the other episode. I don't know. But at some point, I was talking about silent protagonists, and I was comparing Adol to um, to Ryu from uh, the Breath of Fire series. And um, for the record, I love the Breath of Fire series. Breath of Fire three and four. Or two, oh, I think I'm lying. Breath of Fire 3 and 4 are two of my favorite games of all time. 3, probably a little more so than 4, just nostalgia glasses. But both those games, oh, uh, both those games have really cute fishing mechanics. Well, better than nothing. Um, and this just makes me think of that all the more. Darn it! Um, yeah, I remember. In those games too, uh, oh, in those games too, you, you could capture capture. Um, you could pull up um, this this fish. I forgot, I forgot what the character's called. Um, they have these fish creatures in the the universe that are like fishmen, and you could use a coin. Like instead of using bait, you instead of using bait to catch a fish, you use a coin to catch the, these fish people, and they would be shops. They would be shops in these little like you know fishing areas. God, I can't remember what the hell those characters were called, but uh, but yeah, I just for some reason that that always stuck with me because I saw it and I'm like, I tried to catch it, I used everything, and then eventually I realized you can use a coin. Oh, I caught more hard parts blossom. Um, seriously, do I have to just use up all my bait because this is? I wonder what I caught. So yeah, uh, and in Breath of Fire four, um. Because Breath of Fire 3, it was just like all the fishing places kind of looked the same. You were always like, like Ryu was always, or whoever you were, was always at the bottom, and then it would just be one long path. But Breath of Fire 4, I remember, had a much more in depth fishing system where you could fish in the ocean, you could fish like in lakes and other areas, you could move around. And um, even though that whole game was, I guess, more advanced than 3, it was. Um, a lot more boring, but yeah, this part I did mention in the other episode that no longer exists was that Breath of Fire also famously had the, the amnesia trope, where the main character always had amnesia, and 
that was also used in the last East game, well, chronologically released East game, um, Memories of Celsetta. And earlier when Dogi came and you asked, who are you? Like, you don't remember Dogi. It was kind of a waste to not have put a joke about that. Because a lot of RPGs have used that before in the past. Even good, quote-unquote, like, big, good RPGs like Final Fantasy VI, which is probably the most beloved of all the Final Fantasies, and Seven, because Seven also had it, obviously, with Cloud. But, you know, both those games use amnesia elements. But, spoiler alert, Cloud isn't really a first-class soldier. Just, just spoiler. There's probably somebody pissed in the comments now who, I'm sorry, spoilers have, a uh, have um, the statute of limitations, you're, you're too late, you should have played the game 15 years ago. Or actually far longer, 20 years ago. Um, okay, I'm all out of bait. Does that mean I can stop this? Oh yeah. If, I really feel like I'm doing something wrong in this, in this thing. The whole like, oh my god! I already looked at the facilities. Like, I wasted. Oh wait, there's another facility. God, oh. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just I kind of wasted your time for the past five minutes. I didn't look at this facility. Oh yeah, similar to the newer games in the series. Once again, memories of Cell Setup. Um, I assume this is you could trade, yeah, you trade up to get the better materials. It doesn't really matter too much at this point, you don't have enough, but the bigger idea is as you grab a shit ton of materials and use it to, um, so you don't, so you don't max out your inventory so you can get new ones. Okay, I, I legit just looked at the facilities and I'm at, Oh, there's more facilities? These, these all look the same. Yeah, but in case you saw, I didn't even pick the funny option. That's how upset I am with this, this whole series of events. I did not even want to pick that funny option. None of this makes sense. I know I'm probably thinking too deep into this, but how did Doki make a chest that allows you to trade up? Presumably that means he's already gathered together the higher level stuff, in which case, why doesn't he just give it to you? One time, I actually want to maybe get my weapon up a little. Do I have enough iron ore to enhance this? Oh yeah, I do. It's a rapier. That's what that sword's called, by the way. I totally remember that now. The the thing I. Erroneously called the fencing sword earlier. That's an anchor? I thought it was a support beam for like an arch. Whatever. I don't even care anymore. Let, let's just get that freaking fire, cook these fish. Okay. See that, guys? You see that, guys? That is not how you build a fire. I don't know if I want to talk to him as an imagining up here, but that is not how you build a fire. I'm, I swear to God, that sounds like he's talking about a toilet. I wish there were more. Yes, I do wish there were more. Oh my God. Why are we still talking about food? It's actually making me kind of hungry, to be honest. 
I'll make fish soup. That sounds disgusting, by the way. Awful broth. It's like making fish sauce or something. I'm an outdoorsman, so... So that's how it is. What? I'm sorry, my servants have always prepared my meals. Get out of here with that. Oh my god, are we gonna learn about cooking too? This game has a problem with not spacing out its tutorials and stuff. And obviously I'm starting to get the idea there is no town. I, I know that was kind of obvious uh, like in the end of the last chapter, but I kept thinking maybe there'll be a town. Maybe something interesting will happen. Um, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. This game's actually kind of fun. I'm just kidding. I'm just annoyed with that fishing thing that I just wasted my time, your time, everyone's time on. Belch. And also, all this has the feel of a side quest, but this is really just eating up my game time. Now then, Adel Kristen. Okay, this this episode's going a little longer than I actually thought something interesting would happen. Oh look, look, the, the fire is magically built. I, I don't oh, I can cook some of this. I can make fish soup. What is this? Final Fantasy 15? Um Fuck it, I'm making fish soup. Oh, the hill's HP. I'll make two of them. <laughs> it's done! It's done! Yeah. Okay, it said the captain was got back. Where is the captain? <laughs> Sorry, where is the captain? I like how we built benches. Like, I understand that, like, you know, we're living here for a while, apparently, but do we really have to build benches? And if you've been following along, presumably this is all happening in one day. Like, what? What? Captain in here? I just want to move on with the game. But I want to have some sort of closure before I wrap this episode up. Because apparently I'm still not able to jump on my quest yet. Oh my god. Do I have to like pretend I'm gonna leave and pull up here? Nope. I, uh, he, he's somewhere here. If I were the captain, I where would I put my quarters? Well, on the ship, but oh my god! I, I, I mean, like the the annoying thing is, this is making me look like a really bad player here because I, I, I miss the facilities. I can't find this captain. All of you watching are probably like, oh my god, this guy doesn't know how to play a game. Enter the mean comments now, but yeah, I really don't know what's happening. Maybe this way. Oh, of course, of course. The one way I did it said not to go. Hey, there's a verb. There's a verb. Good morning, everyone. Morning, morning. It speaks. Huh? Did that bird just talk? Looks like it has a mohawk, but. This seems domesticated. He's pretty smart for a bird. We have to give him the name. 
gonna name him after his daughter? Kinda... That's kinda awkward. Your what? That, that should have been boys. You have a daughter? He doesn't have a son. He's a daughter named, like, Tidus? Tidia? I was kind of hoping he had a son, so we could have... Oh. That, that's not an awkward line at all. My wife is as beautiful as you are. I'm not sure about her character's age, but I'm pretty sure she would have to be very close in age to be, his, you know... Yeah. Is the next game going to take place in Greek? He too has a young daughter. But of course. Oh my god, here we go with the mission with the the bulletin board thing. Built a quest board. That just—I don't even know. I'm counting on you. Okay, guys. That took way longer than I ever imagined. I mean, God, that took forever. I mean, that was—that was just. That was the slowest opening to a chapter I've seen in a game in a long time. I know it was chapter two and not chapter one, so I guess thank God for that. But that just took far longer than I felt it needed to. Oh, look, there is a playtime going on there. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. Um, the Algaza did not crash this time, so the episode is saved. Hopefully it does not crash again. Thank you all for watching. Emmanuel from A to J Connections, A to J Plays. Um, see you in the next episode.